rates have increased massively over the past year. So moving containers have been made very complicated. And then some countries were not very structured in terms of being able to organize the sustainability post-COVID. What happened is that you know many containers have been lost in places where most of the trade is happening. That has pushed rates to increase everywhere else because why this is happening, the world population has not stopped growing. The world middle income earners has not stopped growing. So we have much more participants in the global trade and less capacity to move around. In terms of the talent gap, one of the very positive developments from the market we've seen over the last two years is that we have seen logistics and supply chain move up the priorities of companies, going from being something that was perhaps part of the procurement strategy into being board level topics. And I think that helps drive the attractiveness of shipping logistics and supply chain as a place to work. The conversation I'm having with a lot of our customers is finding these longer term agreements that will enable us to over the cycle have a value adding relationship where it creates value for us, it creates value for our customers and we create both predictability and a resilience in their supply chain that will enable their business to be successful. In the Middle East, we call it the new center of gravity of logistics. So it is super important that breakback is taking place here in Dubai. Dubai is the most connected place in the Middle East. And you know, we are fighting together with everybody that is operating here to make it a global platform for trade, 